Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am back again with something absolutely new for you all. Okay. So today in this video, I'm going to discuss about the diverse usage of this word break. Yeah. Now the, this word seems to be a very normal word, right? Something, a very routine word which we keep using in our day-to-day -day English. However, the usage of this word break is very limited in our daily English. Okay. Now you can, there are several other meanings of break, okay? especially the of the phrasal verbs that is made from the word break. Okay. Now it is imperative if you really want to advance your vocabulary, if you really want to progress in your language with your, with obviously with the progress in vocabulary, then it is important that you know what are phrasal verbs. So your step one to advanced English, okay, to better English is knowing phrasal verbs first. Not actually the vocabularies, but the phrasal verbs. Now, what is a phrasal verb? Phrasal verb is a combination of verb plus preposition. Okay, verb plus preposition. So break is a verb. When I combine this with prepositions, the meaning of that phrasal verb changes. Okay, the meaning changes. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the diverse usage, okay, and the diverse phrasal verbs with diverse meanings with the same word break. Because in our daily English, as I said, we only know break means to break. Tor dena. Okay, that's exactly what we know. Or we know break up, which means to end the relationship. But there are several other meanings which is derived from this word break. So in this video, let's understand what are these words? What are the different meanings? How you can use this basic routine word break in different situations so that you can level up your English quotient. Okay, friends. So are you excited? Can we start? So here we go. The very first phrasal verb. So you see, it's a phrasal verb. Break is a verb and down is a preposition. And when I combine it, that gives me a phrasal verb. Now the first phrasal verb, break down. Break down means to stop functioning. Okay, something that is no more functioning. So if I put clothes in the washing machine and... It was, it's working fine for 15 minutes and after 15 minutes, you know, suddenly the machine stops. I'm trying all possible options to make it work so that it gets back to normal. It isn't working, which means what has happened to the machine? The machine broke down, which means it suddenly stopped functioning. Okay, so it's to stop functioning and especially you can make this use of phrasal verb in case of vehicles, in case of machines. Yeah, so a very good example that I've given you here is a car broke down at the side of highway in the snowstorm. Broke down, stop functioning. Yeah, let's go further. The same phrasal verb, break down. Okay, it can also mean to get some, you know, to get really upset with something. To get really upset with something. And because you're so upset, you are so upset or that situation has come as a shock to you that you cannot just contain your emotions and you just give in. You start crying, you start yelling, you are basically out of control. Your normal, intel the intellect which has to work in the normal way is not functioning anymore. Okay, which means because you're really upset with something and very upset with something. Okay, so that's break down. Look at the example sentence. The woman broke down when the police told her that her son had died. Oh my God. This is such a sad situation. Okay. So this is where you can make use of the verb, you know, the phrasal verb broke down. Broke down means a, a very shocking situation wherein you can just cannot contain your emotions and you just give in emotionally. Okay, friends. Break something down. Now, there is just an addition of something between these two words, break, that is the verb, down, that is the preposition, and you have something in between. Now, what is that something? 
Now that something could be a project report, that something could be a task, it could be anything. Okay, so whenever you break something down, which means you divide it into smaller parts, which means you divide it into smaller parts. Okay, so now look at the sentence here. Our teacher broke the final project into three separate parts. Okay, so it could be an introduction, it could be the problem statement, it could be the conclusion. So three separate parts. So the entire project is divided now, is it's broken down into three parts. Yes, friends? Okay, now we have a different preposition with break over here and that is in. Break in. Now, what do you mean by break in? Break in means to, you know, forcefully enter the premise or forcefully enter the building. Somebody broke in last night, which means somebody forcefully entered the building last night, okay, or entered the gate last night. That's what it means. Break into something. Okay, now break in is okay to enter forcefully and broke, break into something also means enter forcefully. The only difference here is between the preposition in and into. We use into only when there is a mobility, when there is a movement and you have to enter somewhere. Okay, so for example, I will say, hey, just hold on, I'm walking into your cabin or I'm just coming into your cabin, into your cabin, which means there is a movement involved and then I will enter the cabin. So because that movement is involved, because there is a mobility there, we will make use of into. However, if you're already settled in the cabin, so what is it? I am in the cabin, just come in, in the cabin, which means I'm settled, there is no movement involved. So that's the only difference between in and into. I have also made a detailed video on the preposition, you know, in and into, how are you supposed, how are you supposed to use it, and what is the difference between them? I will put that in the description. Make sure that you check it out and you level up your English portion. Yeah. So yes, broke, uh, break into something also means to enter forcibly. But look at the situation where you can make use of this. Look at the example. The firemen had to break into the room to rescue the children. The firemen had to break into the room to rescue the children. What do you mean by that? Which means they had the firemen, there was a movement involved. Firemen were still not in the room. There was a movement involved. They had to, there was a movement, there's a mobility. You break the door and you enter into the room. Why? To rescue the children. Okay, so that's break into. Break in. Break in means to interrupt. Okay. Break in means to interrupt. So suddenly you're, you're watching something on television, you're watching a serial or you're watching something and suddenly there is an advertisement. Suddenly there is an interruption. Okay. So we say break in, interrupt. Okay. So the TV station broke in to the report, the new into, uh, broke in to report the news of the president's death. Okay. So suddenly there was an interruption wherein, you know, you could see the news of president's death. Break up. Well, we are all familiar with this. Okay. Something that we really know about break is break up. Okay. So break up means to end a relationship. My boyfriend and I broke up before I moved to America. Okay. So this is something we already know. Now, break up means to end a relationship. We all knew it, right? But break up also means to start laughing. Informal, that's informal, okay? But it also means to start laughing. So the kids just broke up as soon as the clown started talking, okay? which means they suddenly bursted into laughter. Okay, so that's again, what do you mean by break up? I'm sure this is new to you all. Break out. Break out means to escape, to escape, okay? To run away from somewhere. So look at the example. The prisoners broke out of jail when the guards weren't looking. Break out to escape. Break out in something. Break out in something which means to develop a skin condition. To develop a skin condition. So I broke out in a rash after our camping trip. So once I returned from the camp, I broke out into a rash. Which I broke out in a rash, which means I started developing rashes on my skin. Okay. And 
That's about it. So I have made sure that I cover all the possible phrasal verbs, okay, with the use of this word break. So I, how many ever words exist with break, okay, in English language, I have brought them to you. Make sure you learn them, you know them, you use them and make your English quotient better. Okay, friends, so if you have liked my content, please do like, subscribe and do not forget to hit that bell button. Okay, and we will stay connected. I will keep bringing such new stuff for you so that you can level up your English quotient. Thank you so much, friends, and see you soon. Goodbye.